In this video, I want to share books I recommend that all testers read. Now, it's not going to just be testing books per se, but books from different disciplines that I think we all could learn a lot from. Enjoy. The first book is one called Crucial Conversations, Tools for Talking When Stakes Are High by Joseph Greeny et al. Now first, what is a crucial conversation? A crucial conversation is a discussion between two or more people where the stakes are high, opinions differ, emotions run strong, and the outcome significantly impacts their lives and there is significant risk of negative consequences. I recommend this book because it has a lot of useful techniques to use when you are entering a crucial conversation and it explains why you need these techniques and I find that as a book it really shows you clearly how to apply what you've learned. Uh, a problem I've had with some books is that they are interesting, you learn a lot I guess technically but then you don't really know exactly how to apply them going forward and this book is really good in that area. Uh, and then in terms of why it would be useful for testers, I do find this is something that we often do. So for example, maybe uh, debating whether or not uh, a bug should be fixed or trying to influence the outcome as to w whether or not it should be fixed when we speak to, for example, the product owner. Maybe there's some sort of breakdown in a relationship with someone in your team. Uh, so you're wanting to help mend that. Uh, techniques around knowing how to hold a crucial conversation can also be useful here. The second book I would like to recommend is Lessons Learned in Software Testing, A Context-Driven Approach. This book is full of 293 lessons that ranges from topics such as how, like what to automate uh, and what not to automate, uh, mentoring a testing team, setting expectations for a team, and the importance of building a healthy relationship with developers and stakeholders. I think all testers should read this because, again, it's full of useful, tangible advice. You might see a trend in the future books as well. Uh, and while it was written, I think, a while back, so um, 2000, 2001, uh, all of the lessons, I think, are still relevant today. Third, we have Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. This book first looks at System 1 and System 2, so different ways of or types of thinking uh, so one is um, fast automatic thinking and second is uh, thing is the sort of thinking you do when you're being slow and purposeful the next part of the book focuses on heuristics and biases so here it gives a lot of examples of heuristics and biases you should be aware of and I recommend this book to testers because I find that it can be helpful to know how heuristics and biases can affect our approaches and how we can then try and counter these so that we can test better. Uh, some examples of um, heuristics and biases that can be useful for testers to know in particular include anchoring, framing, and the sunk cost fallacy. The fourth book I think all testers should read is Don't Make Me Think, A Common Sense Approach to Web and Mobile Usability by Steve Krug. Now, while some people, people may think you should stay in your lane and say, you know, you do have roles such as uh, designers um, and usability consultants, for example, I think it helps to have an understanding of the basics of usability. And then when we are testing software, what good looks like or what good usability looks like from general usability pr principles it also goes into mobile specific usability and accessibility as well as tips and advice on how to talk to your team and how to introduce the idea of usability uh, to, to your team or to the people that you work with lastly i would like to recommend how to lie with statistics by Daryl Huff. Now this may be seen as a bit of an interesting choice and by no means am I wanting to encourage people to use data to lie, but I do think it's good to be aware of how what you see can be misleading or can be used to choose a story, to tell the story you want to tell. Now I find in testing, uh, there's so much emphasis placed 
on finding bugs or on the testing or the activity of testing itself and not enough emphasis on communicating information. So then when we get to the part of communicating communicating information or specifically uh, creating reports to show how the system is looking, I have been the recipient of reports um, and presentations to show the state of the system that tries to show things are looking good, but then you know that they've painted things or they've, they've taken the angle that is actually fairly misleading. And that's something I feel very strongly about because I do feel like reports or when you're trying to share what's happened, that it should be uh, a depiction of reality. Uh, so yeah, I think you should check this book out as well.